This is a minor hockey moment, a chance for us to explore all the different aspects of minor hockey. Coming up this weekend, we've got a huge, huge event, uh, Girls Hockey Weekend. You guys excited about this? Yes. Yeah. Can't wait? Yeah. Fantastic. Val Wisniewski is with me again. Uh, we talked a little bit about this last year. You're still here, which is good, because when we talked last year, you were a little worried that you were going to be run off your feet, maybe run right into the ground. So uh, fantastic to have you back. Before we jump into what's going on with this weekend, tell us, how did you get involved with hockey? Because there's a, just a, what I think is a fantastic tie into our Manitoba Games, which are coming up in about a month. You guys going to be at the Manitoba Games? Yes. Yes, yes. is the right answer. Ab. Because my sister's in gymna qualified for the Gymnastic That's Manitoba Games. That's right. I saw that. That's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to come down and see her. Check it out in the first uh, first phase. Point right here. Just go like this. you got to help me out. So manitobagames.ca, that's where you volunteer. Paul's going to put it on the screen so it'll look like we're actually pointing at it. So www.manitobagames.ca is the place to volunteer and for all the information on the games. You played in the games in 94. That was a long time you ago. You were minus four years old. That's right. <laughs> so tell us quickly how you got your start in hockey. I played ringette my whole life and then the games came in 94 and that's when uh, hockey wasn't really going here. We got a team together. It, uh, most of the girls played ringette. Uh, a few of them had played hockey before and that's how I started. And the next thing you know, you're going like crazy. The great flipper, we had a chance to talk to the girls ringette team here that's playing in the Manitoba games and they've actually brought a couple girls from hockey because they didn't have enough ringette girls. So in the few years, just a couple years since 94, Things have switched to uh, ringette players going to play hockey, and now we've got hockey players flipping back to, to ringette. So it's, uh, it's kind of neat how those things cycle through, and we're looking forward to having those hockey players and the ringette here. It's going to be top shelf. And we've got a couple girls hockey players that are coming to play in the games too. You know who they are? I do. <laughs> from, the, from Thompson? Well, sort of from Thompson. They're not playing here right now, but Kennedy and Cummings, Cummings and... Yeah. Taylor Christensen, Joey Simon. Yes. My you're right. I only, knew, I only knew the two, Jody Simon, you're right. So, uh, yeah. so we've got three girls. He's from Flin Flon, sorry. Ah, Northern shout King, out, right? Shout out, Joey. Absolutely. Yeah. Small shout out to the Flin Flon Bombers. Uh, so just before we talk about the Girls Hockey Weekend, what is your role with minor hockey this year? I am the female director for Thompson Minor Hockey. Kind of any girl that I see in the hallway that has a hockey stick, I try to bring them to come play with the Thompson Tigers. So she found you guys in the hallway? Is that what happened? No. No? Uh, tell us your names and tell us how long you've been playing hockey. My name's Reese and I've been playing hockey. This is my second year of playing hockey. My name's McKenna and I've been playing for six years. Six years? How old? Like you're 16 years old? No. <laughs> <laughs> so great to have you guys here. So what team do you guys play for this year? I play for the Carroll Arrows and my house league team is the Flyers. I play for the Adam A's and my house league team is the Black Knights. All right. Now, have you guys done anything other than house league? Have you played in any tournaments? Have you gone to any clinics, anything like that this year? Yes, I played on the three-on-three -three camp in Thompson, and I went to Edge of Excellence this summer, and I, when the rink came here, I played for the rink, and I went to the Flin Flon and Swan River. Holy <laughs> cats, man. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, once in a while. What's the most fun thing that's happened at any of those things this year? What's, what do you remember about one of those things that you did? Me having a breakaway in Swan River. <laughs> Absolutely. And did you bury it? Did you score? No. no. <laughs> you know what? I had a breakaway in the Munn Cup when it was 0-0. Zero, zero. I had a chance to score, and I didn't score either. And uh, Paul and Peter Pollock have never let me live it down. So it's, it's somewhere on Shaw's video. And uh, you, what have you gone to this year? I've gone to three tournaments, Steinbach, Dauphin, and Flin Flon. Wow. And what do you remember the most about that? Um, well, me stopping people. Nice. You play goal? No. No? No. <laughs> Just shut them down? Hard D? Hard uh, back checking? That's what you got to do. It's a five, it's a five, six person game. It isn't just all about the goalie. Uh, did you guys play in the girls hockey weekend last year? I know we had lots of girls and it was lots of fun. Did either of you get a chance to be in that? Yes. You were? Mm -hmm. And do you remember it at all? Was it a fun thing to do? Yeah, it was pretty fun because you got to play with a lot of girls from different areas. Uh, and uh, it was nice to meet them. Do you keep in touch with them? Like, are you on Snapchat or something? No, no? but I have Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> what? For it. So were you in the girls' hockey weekend last year? No. No? And what are you looking forward to this year about being in it? 
to play with my friends and have fun. I'm happy. <laughs> Even with Reese? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That will be pretty good. Uh, so you guys, sounds like you play lots and lots of hockey and you're going to have lots of fun playing hockey this weekend, but is there anything else you do in this world? Like, give us a snapshot. So you're not Snapchatting, you're playing hockey. What else are you doing? I ski a lot. I went to Bam this winter and I went to Sunshine Lake Louise and last year I went to Fernie. Uh, do you guys have any more room in your family? Like, could I come and live with you guys? Not going to happen? All right. Sad but true. And you, what else do you do besides hockey? I play lacrosse, go to my cabin, and play with her. <laughs> <laughs> those, are all, those are all solid things to do. Uh, Val, the weekend's coming up. Last year, I think you had about 65 girls. What are the numbers looking like this year? We're hoping to break 100. I'm still registrations. I just took three in the hall, and I'll keep taking them. Uh, I think we're at about 85, and I'm hoping by the next three days I'll have 100. That's Oof. the goal. So we're, you got to have goals. You got to you got to shoot for things. Uh, what does the weekend look like? So it's girls from all across the north, and what what exactly is going to go on here for two and a half days? Okay, so everybody registered as an individual player, and uh, now I'm in the process of making them into teams. So we'll have two novice teams, two Adam teams, two Pee Wee slash Bantam teams, and two Bantam slash Midget teams. They'll play four exhibition games against each other throughout the weekend. Uh, Friday night, which is new, we'll have a fun night. So we're going to have pizza and some kind of fun fun activities in the gym. Uh, we're also, this year, which is new, we're going to have Game Stars, Digger Awards, and Most Sportsmanlike, which is new. So we're growing just a little bit. That was the goal. Uh, how did you end up doing this? Did somebody come and like grab you by the shoulders and say, you got to put on this weekend? Did you sort of step up to do it? How, how did this come about? Girls hockey, as you know, our midget AAA team, we didn't have one this year. Um, we haven't had a Thompson Tigers official tournament because there's just not enough teams in the north. I just tried to find a way of, okay, how do we, I know every time I watch a tournament, there's lots of girls, I see them. How do we get them all here and playing hockey against each other to grow the sport? Just decided, hey, let's register as individuals, split them up into teams and we'll go from there. Eventually, hopefully, we'll actually have teams from all around the north and it'll become a tournament again. It sounds like it was a lot of fun last year, right? Yeah. And so it can only keep growing from here. I think you're on a great path. If people still want to get uh, involved, they could just catch you in the lobby, but there's probably another way that they can get uh, going on this. So what should they do? You can email tigersagw at gmail.com for more information. And there's a few of us that check the email and we'll get back to you right away. Perfect. It's coming up this weekend, so you got some stuff going on Friday night. We got the fun night, free pizza, girls. I might be down here for that, and uh, and then all day Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, anything else? Can't wait to see this uh, this all shake down. Do you think you'll get any sleep between now and Monday? A few hours. Yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Just a couple. That's a minor hockey moment. That's Val Wisniewski, Reese, and McKenna. McKenna. <laughs> Man, I was practicing that through the whole thing. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thompson Tigers, come down and check it out this weekend.